So when I listen to Andrew and Julian, I just think their idea is mad. How can you possibly have a bunch of people in an organization who all do everything? So each individual person does the selling, the manufacturing, the designing, the finance. How can that possibly work? And then I realized that that's what I do. I do everything. I'm just a traveling trainer who does the selling. I design the courses, I deliver them, I do the finance. And there's nothing special about me. Plumbers, builders, window cleaners, guitar teachers, they all do all of those things and they seem quite happy. So as Julian says, this is actually probably the commonest model in the world. And yet we find it totally weird that they're doing it in a company. Now you could say that there are some products that can be done by individuals and some products that have to be done by an organization. But I'm not sure if that's true because training, which I do, can be done by organization. So I used to work for the university and we had a salesperson, we had me delivering training, we had a finance department, etc., and an admin department. Uh, and by the way, that was terrible. Uh, I used to find all the other departments very frustrating. Uh, I had no incentive to sell more. Uh, I had no incentive to be creative or get into new areas. Whereas now I'm me, it's so much better. I've got ownership. Uh, I also tried the Croft Management Centre where we employed a bunch of trainers. And again, we had people just delivering. We had some people selling and we had admin. And again, it didn't really work. What happened was that the admin became more and more burdensome to the point where we didn't make any profit. So I've realized that actually you've always got a choice of delivery methods. And the one that I do now where I do everything is easily the best. And in fact, Andrew and Julian pointed out that I would never have got into making videos if I'd been working in a training company, just delivering training. It's very difficult to be creative when you're part of a big machine because you've got to change all the other parts of the machine and often they resist changes because it might mean we don't need them anymore. In fact, imagine if I was planning to change over to Zoom and that would mean that my transport department weren't needed anymore. In a big organization, there'd be all sorts of resistance to that. But because it's me and I just don't have to book transport anymore, that's great. Or if I could come up with something which meant I didn't have to use design or I didn't need IT, I would be all in favor of that because I would just be saving a bit of my own time. I'd be making 20% of myself redundant, which would be great. But in an organization, you're gonna have a huge uphill struggle if any changes mean getting rid of a department or a person. Whereas when it's just me, I can think, oh, I'm gonna get into making videos or I'm gonna do it over Zoom or whatever. I've got that freedom, I've got that creativity and I've got that incentive as well because if it's better paid, I'm gonna do it rather than just turning up and doing my training and not caring about the money. So this model definitely works better for me and it could work better for you.